the uh, first uh, uh, finalist that I would like to introduce is James Dean. And James, if you would come up and we we'll give you the stage. I said that wrong, didn't I? Hi, my name is James Din. I'm, I'm very honored to be here today. Um, I am a Los Angeles-based designer uh, working in the fields of landscape architecture and public art. And I graduated from the Master of Landscape Architecture at the University of California, Berkeley. Um, you know, the concepts that I often examine through my creative work, such as community, place, and history, can really be traced back to my family's experience um, with displacement. At the close of the Vietnam War, uh, my family, like thousands of others, came to the U.S. as uh, refugees. And though had, that conflict had ended nearly 50 years ago, uh, veterans of the South Vietnamese Armed Forces are, are really forbidden in the country of their birth uh, to publicly and collectively memorialize their brothers in arms, uh, simply because they had simply um, fought on the wrong side or on the losing side. Um, You know, so, so because they, they can't memorialize uh, the people that they had fought with, um, you know, wounds remain unhealed and ghosts from the past still haunt the present. And the slide shows my father, uh, who uh, this picture shows him as a, a student in the, the military medical uh, program. And uh, he served as a captain medical doctor in, in the South Vietnamese Army. Uh, so it's, it was really with these heavy thoughts that I was inspired to enter the National Native American Veterans Memorial Design Competition. Uh, for I believe that people, communities, and a country to heal and thrive, uh, it is important to honor everyone, all those men and women, who have sacrificed so much, even their lives, uh, to protect their communities, uh, their land, liberty, democracy, and ways of life. Uh, furthermore, I believe it is crucial um, to include the stories of diverse peoples in the larger narrative of America. You know, this country has not been built by gr one group of people or by those in power, uh, but by the contributions, courage, and sacrifices of many different peoples, uh, such as Native American veterans. Um, before I began to think about the forms which the National Native American Veterans Memorial might take, I, I had always envisioned the memorial really as a space uh, rather than an object. Uh, because a space is where ceremony, where prayer, where healing, reflection, and learning can all take place. Uh, because commemoration, I believe, is both a communal and a, a personal act. Uh, this location plan, um, this is a location plan. Uh, you know, I had last visited Washington, D.C. over 20 years ago when this museum wasn't even built yet. So, so I had no idea of, of the site or lo the location itself. Uh, so I had to go on Google. I had to look at photos and street views. Um, so I, I found a tentative location for the memorial at the museum's uh, south entrance. Uh, right here. This is the south entrance. And there's an existing very large old uh, American elm tree there. And I feel that the, the, the elm tree would really help to ground the memorial to the site uh, while fostering a deep connection to nature, time, and place, as well as providing shade and shelter. And this, this site plan gives a, 
overall uh, view of the, of the design. Uh, this is the existing American elm tree. And this is the south entrance. Um, so the memorial space is, is organized around a, a circular form. And I chose this shape because uh, the circle shows itself in, in many Native American cultures. Um, and the sacred geometric shape of the circle can represent uh, many things, such as land, the cosmos, the community, equality, um, man, many other symbols. Um, so the existing elm tree um, really grounds the memorial to the site. And on the west side, I propose uh, an earth form, which I'll talk about later, which helps to demarcate the space and creates a, a partially private, uh, enclosed, very uh, an embracing space where people can gather. And at the heart of the memorial is what I call a wellspring, shown here as a circle in blue. And I'll go through each of these elements. Um, uh, this is the wellspring. And um, the wellspring serves as a, a resonant metaphor for the deep-rooted uh, spiritual connection Native American people have for the land uh, from which flows life, spirit, and values such as community and courage. And from this wellspring, uh, five translucent totems rise skyward in, um, in solemn dignity to form the shape of a star. And um, the spires express valor, uh, the valor of uh, many Native brave Native American veterans who served in the five branches of the U.S. Armed Forces. And the five spires rise in, in solidarity, but you can see that the spires actually never touch one another. Um, they actually create a void in the middle. And this void can be illuminated at night. And, and I hope that the void uh, acts as a constant reminder to all of us of those veterans who lost their lives in the service of duty and their profound absence and sacrifices. Um, from the wellspring, uh, ripples of paving extend outward uh, to an embracing wall, uh, the wall of remembrance. Uh, the face of the wall can be etched with text uh, documenting each major conflict in US history as well as acknowledging the contributions of servicemen and women. Uh, also, individual voices can be quoted to humanize wartime experiences. Because wartime, um, you know, history often portrays people as numbers or statistics, but I think if, you, if we can get uh, actual quotations of people who have, have experienced these wartime experiences, that it really humanizes the experience and, and we can relate to that experience more. Um, the concentric circle motif is also repeated on the wall, as you can see here. Um, and, and these etchings, uh, I, you know, I see them like petroglyphs. Uh, they symbolize connections across history and geography. And emerging from both ends of the wall is a, a low platform uh, on which people can place offerings such as flowers or or they can sit. Um, so this, this platform is really dedicated to family members who, who wait while their loved ones serve. And behind the wall of remembrance is this planted earth mound, um, which rises up to embrace the wall. And the landform is in, intended to recall ancient uh, American earth mounds. And Together, the earth mound and the wall uh, help to define a quiet, safe space for indi individual reflection or communal gatherings. Um, so in, in conclusion, uh, sheltered by the branches of an old tree, uh, the National Native American Veterans Memorial uh, offers a contemplative space where people of all backgrounds and generations are welcome to gather. Uh, where veterans and not veterans alike can partake in ceremonies uh, where they can pray, heal, and, and really reflect on the interconnectedness of, of life and death, of, of water and earth, of land and sky, and of the past and the future.
Thank you. Are there any any questions for James? I, I fail to say if there are questions, uh, we need to make them from the microphone there since we will be uh, recording. So, uh, not seeing any questions. Okay, thank you, James. Great. Yeah, wonderful.